Hello, my name is Jake. Today I'm going to read you the book named The Cold Bean. It's from Jerry Jones and Pete Oswald. The Cool Bean. Watch out, here comes the cool beans. The cool beans. Oh yeah, check out how they move. Look at they, what they are sagger. Notice their sunglasses. Yo, the cool beans are known all over school, from house to house across town, beyond country lines. In all days last year, we we're in a big one pot of beans. We're all mixed back, but somehow it worked. Yep, those are the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it's sometimes you spend less time together even though you're not totally sure why i watch as beans i knew so well the beans from my old pod because the cool bees oh they're so cool one of the one of them could play the guitar cool one of them could draw the best superhero cool one of them could jump higher than any bean i ever known Cool. Me? Well, I'm mostly staying the same. Sure, I made some change. I wore sunglasses. Too big. I slid my hair down. Too slick. I started to run. Ow. I so good. Oof. I was a still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snort when I laugh. Honk. I walked into stuff. Womp. I was an aunt cool bean, for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. It couldn't complete, so I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. The days I blend together, I live my life as things are just okay. I took tests and ate lunches and mostly kept to myself. The cool bean commentated being cool. I mean, sure, I missed them a bit, but it's not like I was going to say everything. I felt like that all that coolness had gotten in the way for our friendship. And that's how it went until one day. I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my lofters. Oh no, not a game. But then, something sort of mis miraculous happened. One of nowhere, one of the cool bean helped me clean it up. He didn't say a anything. He just gave me a nod. And that was it. Later, I was out in the playground. I tripped and scrapped my knees and maybe cried a little bit. And everybody saw it. Everybody, one of the cool bean, came to my side, and without a word, she dusted me off. That afternoon, I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody had said. Then, then, everybody just laughed at me, and that was it. After today, I was off tickly. Uh, was bean. But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 13 to 32. Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small tour, sure, but it was also everything. Somebody has my back, or a few somebody. After that, I start hanging out with the cool beans again. How have you been? Get it? How have you been? Not all the times, but sometimes at lunch, after school, even on the weekends. So, throughout all of these, I realized that. It's not about how you look or any of that silly, other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile. It's just the right moment. 
and just dusting somebody off, hoping them up again and pointing them in the right direction. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. The end. Thank you for watching. Bye.